another beautiful day in Ohio and it's back to back time. This is one I've been looking forward to. My brand new 2025 CRF 450R. Just picked this bike up Friday from a good friends at Honda Marysville Motorsports and I rode it Friday, rode it Saturday, rode it yesterday and today we're finally going to get it back to back ride with my favorite 450 the KTM Factory Edition. This is a 24.5, so it's got the new chassis. It has my favorite set of cone valve forks. And Brad at Rideworks did the shock. Otherwise, it's stock. They do come with the CUO, so you can tune the engine character. I have it set for dry, hard pack, minimum engine braking, maximum throttle response. This bike doesn't have an app, but you have 12 different maps available. Three maps. Three levels of traction control, no traction control. So I'm going to run this one on map one. I'm at an old school GP track. Back to back rides are just a fun way to feel the character of each bike. I'll do a lap time just as another piece of data. But when you ride bikes back to back, it's easy to feel the characteristics differences. So we'll do one lap each. Now this bike. The new chassis, if you're picky, you definitely will notice it. You got more comfort, less feedback. And this engine is just so strong and easy to ride. Probably the easiest 60 horsepower engine to ride. But it's a KTM, so it's got a little bit of vibration. terrible. It's a little choppy section. It is exceptionally slippery today. Just a little dust layer on top of hard pack. These MX-34s, they're better than the 33 even in this stuff. Of course, this bike's got my favorite set of forks, and Brad redid the shock. Brad at Rideworks. So it's just very comfortable bike to ride. Man, is it slick. Can barely roll that throttle and just spin. <laughs> the bike is sliding. Oh, nothing like a 60 horsepower 450. All right. 202.01. So, 20. 202 flat. I like this bike. This bike is really good. New chassis, great tire contact patch feel. Of course, it's got some good suspension. Brad at Rideworks really dialed the shock. I'm a Slovet guy, 6'2", 195 pounds. I like to do a little bit of woods and Slovet moto. Same with the forks, WP. They're good. All right, bone stock. It's Except for this 50th anniversary seat and the cool ProLink stickers. They gotta be good for at least two seconds a lap. Let's try this new Honda. This is easily my favorite Honda 450 to date. All right, we're just gonna go map one. No traction control. Now, what do I feel right away? I can feel these fatter Honda grips. And there is a smallness to the front end of this bike. That the KTM doesn't, it just feels smaller up front. Man, and these MX-33s not have as much front traction but we'll deal with it. The um, 
the engine on this bike is just a little more re maybe maybe a little softer torque feel down low but but it just has a quicker rev and definitely definitely has less vibration than the KTM not a lot less but you can feel it but what it really has is that, that super refined feel the engine mapping the thing is the suspension on this bike is really pretty good slippery yeah the edges these sturdy 33 front tire is not as good as the 34. But boy, the power, you can just slide it in. Oh, 450. Let's see how we did. 20 flat 0.5. So, 202 flat 2055. I honestly feel like I was working harder on this bike. A little bit less kind of stable, but for a CRF, this is hands down best CRF they've had in a while. And I had the 19 Works Edition, 21 Works Edition, 23 Works Edition, and we rode the 22 and 24 back to back. This is significantly different. This setup front here, wow, that makes a big difference. So. Finally, Honda has really stepped it up. And I think Hunter looked pretty good on it at Unadilla this weekend, too. Super fun bike to ride. Ride red. And the Works Edition. Tunable with the app. The Kropovich, it's nice and quiet. These are two fun bikes. I'm going to be doing lots more back-to-backs with these two. But for now, two thumbs up.